Good morning, my friends. How are you? My name is Mike Avery. Glad to have you along with us this morning on what is uh, looking out my window here right now. An interesting morning for sure. It is certainly fall now, isn't it? Fall, of course, means hunting season, one of the best times of the year, in my opinion. Now, you might know me as the uh, outdoor guy. My show airs on WSGW. Uh, but I'm glad to be live this morning on all of the Alpha Media stations, as well as the Moose YouTube uh, channel. Reach out to us and say hi. We've got a special guest coming up here in just a minute. But I love working with the folks from Alpha Media. Uh, wonderful stations, wonderful people. And it's a real privilege to be able to talk about the outdoors every week on WSGW, but I want to talk about the outdoors here just for a few minutes as well on the live stream too. Um, I've always said that hunting and fishing are wonderful in themselves. I mean, it's a great way to disconnect. It's a great way to enjoy mother nature. It's a great way to relax and spend some quality time, but there's also an added benefit to hunting and fishing. And that is Occasionally, you might catch some fish, and coming into the fall hunting season, you might be lucky enough to put down some wild game as well. When you do that, you want to be able to process that meat, and you want to be able to store it. What's the best way to do that? I think probably freezing it, processing it, freezing it, and enjoying it later on in the year. A guy who knows that very well, his name is Eric Crane from Crane's Appliance on Bay Road in Saginaw. I want to talk a little bit about that and what they have to offer. Eric, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Mike. How are you guys today? I'm doing just a wonderful. And isn't it a great time of year, Eric? Very much so. I, I love hunting season. Uh, I don't get to go out as much as I used to anymore. Um, but yeah, it's fall. Fall is my time of the year, man. I, I love the cold. I love the you know bonfires, being able to get out in the woods, fishing. I love to do all of that. Isn't it funny how sometimes life gets in the way of enjoying life? I mean, the work gets in the way of getting out hunting and fishing, even for me. Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. And um, you know, being a family guy, you know, I got three kids, and you know, you gotta make you gotta make time for everything. Um, unfortunately, the hobbies are the ones that get pushed to the side. <laughs> You were just showing me a picture of a big buck your dad shot a few years ago. You guys are a hunting and fishing family, aren't you? Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. Um. I, you know, we, we started hunting during the youth hunt, me and my sister, and it just kind of kept going through, um, you know, it, like I said, I don't get to go out as much as I used to, but you know, when I'm able to do so, it's just nice being able to sit in the woods. It's calm, quiet. You get to, you know, sit there and think to yourself. It's the, the ram of life just gets to, gets to sit on the side like everything else does. Uh, you're, you're, you're singing my song, Eric. I love that. Listen, tell me about your company, uh, Cranes L&M Appliance on Bay Road in Saginaw. You are obviously a family-owned company. I love that. Tell me your history. Uh, yep. So we've been in business since 1956. Uh, my late father purchased the company back in 1985, um, where we were at 2930 Bay Road. And then um, roughly about nine years ago, we moved into our current locations, which is now at 3260 Bay Road. We went from a 3,000 square foot building to a 10,000 square foot building. And it's, you know, we've just skyrocketed. Um, we have our own delivery crew. We have our own service and installation. We do everything. Our Everything's in-house. Um, Award-winning staff, award-winning sales. Um, I started working with my dad when I was 10. And I'm now 32. So I've, you know. 20 years of experience in the appliance business and running a business itself. Um, it's just, you know, COVID COVID's the one thing that really threw a wrench into a lot of different things and um, being a family owned operation and allowing ourselves to have stock makes a big difference when it comes to being able to take care of the customers. Uh, new appliances, used appliances as well. Yeah, no, new use and scratch and dent. Um, that's what really puts us a little different than everybody else. Is we do all, we have a appliance for every budget. We have um, financing for everybody, uh, whether it be lease to own with no credit, or you can use our brand source card, and that gets you no interest. Um, it just we try to work with everybody with every budget. 
What about availability? Now, I know in the world that I work in, you know, hunting and fishing, everything from boats to guns to ammo to binoculars is hard to get and the supply isn't there. What are you seeing in your part of the world? Uh, appliances are affected really heavily. Um, superconductor chips are a pain in the neck with us. <laughs> Like uh, dishwashers are, you know, 10, 15 months out if, if we're lucky. Uh, refrigeration is affected super heavily too. Um, luckily, we're part of a buying group, which again is, is called Brand Source, and that gets us $9 billion of buying power. So they are our, you know, they're, they are our sword. They're the ones going after these manufacturers, making sure that we're not getting pushed to the wayside for the box stores. Um, because I mean, if you look at the st or the the stats for the you know eight last eighteen months, we independent dealers we're the ones that are holding everything down. We're the ones that are making sure that these companies aren't going out of business. Um, like personally, myself, I have over seven hundred appliances in stock and box. Wow, that's impressive. Now, folks, you can win. You can enter to win a thousand dollars from cranes by going to midmichiganoutdoorexpo.com, midmichiganoutdoorexpo.com. And Eric, you've also got a giveaway at the end of the month, right? We are, yes. Um, we are giving away a five cubic foot chest freezer. You can go onto our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash cranes lm. You will see a virtual buck poll that we have there. Um, what you need to do is like our page, comment on that particular post, and share it also. Um, if you guys do get a deer or any kind of, you know, or, or harvest anything that is of size or something you're proud of. Um, by all means, please share a photo on that and that gets you also a extra um, entry into winning that freezer. Eric, I like the fact that you say an animal that you're proud of. It doesn't have to be a Pope and Young. It doesn't have to be a Booner, does it? It's got just, just get out there, enjoy the experience. And if you're proud of it and you've harvested it, share it. A hundred percent. Yep. My, for, you know, the first animal I ever harvest was a button buck, but you know, I was 12 years old and I first bow, um, my bow was set up by a gentleman named Bill Willits. Um, he was one of the, um, top archers here in the state of Michigan. Um, you know, he, he machined his own product. He machined his own releases. He machined everything, it, everything he did on his own. Um, and you know what? That that bow shot so smoothly. It, it was just butter. What should we look for? If we're lucky enough to put a buck down or a doe, we've got some venison. We want to store it to get us uh, to enjoy it this winter, even into the spring. What are we looking for in a freezer? So with freezers, you got to remember, um, chest freezer is always best when it comes to a freezer because all they do is cool. They bring it down to a temperature. They sit there and freeze. And the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're vacuum packing anything that you're putting in there. You want to get as much moisture out of whatever product that you're putting into that freezer. Um, that will reduce the um, the likelihood of freezer burn. Uh, the next thing you want to make sure is that you do have ample space. You know, packing a freezer 100% full is not a good thing. It's the same thing as like, you know, an LP container. It, you can only fit it or fill it to 80%. Otherwise, you're going to start affecting the way that it's able to cool everything that's around it. So if you think you need a certain a size freezer, you're better off to go a little bit, little bit bigger than what you think you're going to need. A little bit, yes. Um, I mean, if you think you need a seven cubic foot, you, you should buy nine cubic foot. Um, if you know you're going to fill it to the brim, then you buy you know the largest freezer that you can for the space that you have provided. Um, well, let me ask next, you this. The average Michigan year and a half old buck what size freezer, if we were going to put just that buck in there, what size do we need? You you can go with a five cubic foot if you're just harvesting one, you know, year and a half year. Um, anything above that, then you start to need to get up into there. Um, like any time, if you start getting to a two and a two and a half year old, then you start have to get into like the seven cubic foot, anything bigger than that. Gotcha. Um, I like the fact that you also have refurbished appliances because I'm thinking, look, if I got to camp up north, I don't ne necessarily want to put a brand new, more expensive unit in there. Tell me about uh, what you've got to offer there. Uh, so with reconditioned appliances, ex right now is especially hard because um, with parts and everything else. Um, 
I have two guys working in the store uh, that refurbish appliances all the time. Um, our stuff isn't, it, it, it's used, but we go through it, we test it, put new parts into it, we put warranties on it. Um, that's really what our mantra was, you know, 15 years ago when my dad was still running the business, is he was, he was big into reconditioned appliances. I've switched the business around a little bit to post into, you know, um, scratch and dent appliances a little harder. Um, and new, but used used is definitely a big part of our business. I also love the fact you could wrap them in anything you want from camouflage to something else. Tell me about that. Yeah. So we partnered with a company called Higher Image, which is here in Saginaw. Um, they actually just finished doing my box truck. And that's how I kind of jumped into the idea of it is, you know, we like the freezer that we are giving away at the end of the month. The nice thing about that is, is higher image is going to wrap that and whatever that the customer, whoever wins it, wants it to basically, um, whether it be camouflage, whether it be, you know, a steel look brick, whatever, whatever it needs to be to fit into that, into the garage, man cave, you know, hunting, um, you know, deer camp, which, whichever it needs to be at. That's very cool, Eric. The website, craneslm.com, cranes, craneslm.com. What's the uh, Facebook page again? It's cranes. It, it, so it's facebook.com as everything else. And then it's slash craneslm. And you're having a giveaway through that Facebook page. Remind us about that. Yep. So again, um, on our Facebook page, you will see a pinned post at the top. It is for our virtual buck pull. So you got a liker page, like the... Um, post and then if you harvest an animal and you post a picture there that gets you an extra entry and folks if you want a chance to win a thousand dollars from uh cranes go to midmichiganoutdoorexpo.com that's midmichiganoutdoorexpo.com eric it's been a pleasure talking to you i love talking to an outdoor enthusiast like yourself have a great season mike you also good luck out in the woods i'm hoping to be able to get out there here sooner than later um but, you know, as you said, you know, life likes to get in the way and I got to make sure everybody's taken care of before my hobbies come in. So <laughs> and, and we appreciate that, Eric. Have a good day. All right, Mike. Have a great day. Thank you for putting me on. All right. Our pleasure. Again, my name is Mike Avery. Uh, you know me from the Outdoor Magazine radio show that airs on uh, WSGW on Sunday mornings. Now, I love the outdoors. Eric Crane loves the outdoors. And I hope you get a chance to uh, get outdoors as well. Looking out my window right now, not a good day to be outdoors. So go over to the website, craneslm.com, or go to their Facebook page or midmichiganoutdoorexpo.com and check out more of what we have to offer. Have a good day, my friends. Thank you for joining me on this edition. Oh, I can't call it Wednesday Night Live. I can't call it Mike behind the mic. I can't call it behind the mic. So we'll just say have a good day and we'll talk to you again soon.